Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So I assume most of you are, or some of you, are already in the end game, and some of you are going from the mid game to the end game. So how do you really determine that you're in the end game? So if you go to your figures and if you see that all of your figures are at level 220, definitely you're the mid game. But Hold on a bit, hold on a bit. You are not finished yet. Not, it, It's not going to be as easy as reaching 220 and clearing all of the stages. It's not like that. The reality is there are a lot of, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, content that uh, the developers will be putting out will be harder, definitely. And um, how do you keep up with um, all of these content? How do you clear this in the end game? Um, let's start with your otaku zone. So once you reach um, 220 for all of your figures, you will be opening this one. I already covered this in one of my videos. So the collection commemoration, this is simply another buff. This is going to be your BP. Um, an increase in BP will also increase um, your figure's capabilities. How do you increase this is by collecting or leveling up your existing figures, your badges, your adornments, and so on and for so forth. Future um, furniture collection, avatar frame collection, and that is how you level this up. Right now, I'm at level 8 and going up, and still, this is not really enough. Let's go back to the basics a bit in terms of the other things that you should uh, level up or enhance in your figure. So let's go to figure in care and I'm going to show you guys the most obvious because I'm sure that most of you are doing this. You are swapping out your gear, um, bringing them to to Peach. And I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure, guys, you're you're already doing that. But aside from enhancing these, you also need to look at what you are enhancing. So um, let's take a look at Milim here. Um, this is at plus twelve. Um, this is an ultimate uh, gear part. So once you enhance um, a certain gear, um, a lot of stats are opening up here in this side. So um, let's enumerate this. This defense bonus, crit, health, and defense. We're going to take a look at a similar gear with um, with Zarula here. And it's kind of different. So every time you enhance a specific gear, the additional stats, stat bonuses are going to be different depending on what you got, basically. So what I'm saying here is... If you have similar gears here that you want to swap with other figures, you can actually swap them. Like for example, if I want to swap this with Zarola, then definitely I could do that. So um, aside from enhancing the parts, swap them out, um, swap them, uh, mix and match whoever needs it most. So you have to more or less um, be be very meticulous in, in looking out for the stats of each figure. What does that figure need? Does that figure need attack, uh, HP? So it really depends on the figure that you're looking at. And the other one is, um, um, I've had actually a lot of questions uh, on where you're gonna use a certain, um, what do you call this, certain currency here. So reinforcing, reinforcing your uh, peach gear or part is going to transform them into a striped pink. So, and also there are bonuses coming out. So as you can see here, it's a plus 1600 attack bonus if I do reinforce this. And this is the currency that I was mentioning. I was asked this, where do you use this? So let's, let's read service, uh, service something, service reinforcement material. So you're going to use it here in the reinforcement. So for every... Um, for every brand, there's a specific, as you can see here, for one color, for once or one part, you're going to require um, one uh, a specific um, reinforcement material from each of the brands. So 10, 30, sorry, sorry, 50, 50, and 50. 
So you're gonna be farming this eventually and we'll go to farming later. So again, as you can see, if you reinforce, it's going to unlock a certain additional stat. This is going to be a fixed stat, not a percentage. If you unlock this one, this is going to be health. So it's a big jump, guys, considering that this is 27 thousand six hundred so we're gonna be going up to a hundred thousand so this is a big jump definitely so it's worth reinforcing your gear especially if you're moving forwards towards harder content we'll go to content later and uh, more or less discuss more of that um when you go farming obviously you're gonna be farming it uh here in your big three so at 34, obviously you're farming uh, gear here. The highest that you can farm is going to be Peach. Peach. Um, then the rest of the stages here will be uh, will be uh, will be farming for this one, the reinforcement material that you need. So it's really a toss up. If you think that you have enough Peach um, equipment. That especially for your core team, the, the 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 figures that they're using per brand, then you can really farm these. And especially if you're no, going nowhere already, then you can definitely farm the reinforcement material. It would be best if you if you can unlock these from 37 to 39 because. The color of the reinforcement material here is going to be peach. Okay? So, the the lower you get, the better reinforcement material you're going to be getting. So, unlocking these. But again, unlocking these also requires you to level up your parts for your figure. So, you will have to farm them clearly from 35, 36, and 37. Right now, I haven't used any reinforcement I am actually trying to think on which ones to prioritize, which parts to prioritize for reinforcement for my figures. Okay, so that was it for parts. So the next that we're going to be talking about is going to be the badges uh, here. So I'm just going to go back to info, just a side, uh, side what they call this. This one's if you're if you're you know if you are um, fortunate enough you can get these and upgrade as well the stats these are the coating if this is actually just a side topic um, because I have some who I already like for example for Atsunimiko I already I was able to coat her you will need this uh, big three paint here to level up once they are in five star diamond so not five star they have five diamonds okay so once they're, they're they're at five diamonds then you can unlock this and you can also increase their stat here with a stat bonus as you can see here so side trip in terms of um, going through the parts so again going back we're done with parts so enhance swap reinforce and farm for the badges, by the way, um, hopefully we could farm the exclusive badges here in the future um, as you know we go further because really if you only buy one one you know one copy of these and if you cannot enhance or break through, these are not worth it in the future. So hopefully we could do that. Um, where can you get these? You can basically get these um, inter copies of uh, your badges will be available here. So if you're using um, these badges, which for example, the end time ultimate badge, this is very helpful. You're also, I'm sure, using some for the end time inferno badge and the end time frost badge. So if you're using these badges, it's worth it to farm them here. I'm going to tell you why you should farm them later. The big difference is in terms of having duplicates and not having duplicates. And for the yellow ones, you can farm them in the Mo store. So you can farm them in the Mo store and the sticker store and the internal badge portion. So sometimes it would be beneficial if you start, you know, if you really have collected enough for your figures it's actually balanced whether you're gonna 
you you're gonna you're gonna swap these for figures or if you're gonna swap these for badges so again um make the best decision because again the figure alone will not really clear your stages even if you go through um, up to five star five diamonds sometimes it's not enough so you have really to get copies of the badges that they're using and hopefully um, the future the exclusive badges will be available here so again farming for the badges would be happen in the sticker store and the in the club store for the lower rarities okay so why is farming important for a specific part because um if i'll set this an example this is ready this is enhanced at a plus two so the hp bonus and attack bonus is only 14 percent let's try to take a look at uh, even even the, the 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 purple rarity if you enhance it and you break through it with the max breakthrough so as you can see there that's maxed already the bonus the additional bonuses the attack bonus and the hp bonus is actually very big so you can't just rely on one single copy you really have to upgrade your badges let's take a look at a badge a yellow badge that i have upgraded so as you can see here this is only plus eight but it's already at level 32. so if you go back to zarola this is 31. so obviously if you if you get more copies and you break through the yellow badges definitely the bonuses would would even you know go up so as you can see here i don't have a copy of anti eternal midsummer badge so or you could actually as you saw there you can use this currency the fully anniversary badge to level up the badges so you don't really need to get a copy of the badge per se um the fully anniversary badge uh, you can get them i forgot where it is here so you can get them here you could get one here this is actually available once a month but this upgrade is going to be very good because any badge any yellow badge can benefit from the fully anniversary badge okay so badges are also important because they provide really 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 big amounts of buffs for your figures Anyway, if you have any comments um, on, for example, what we talked about, the parts, the badges, and if you have suggestions, if I overlooked anything, put them down in the comment section below. And let's go through the adornments, guys. Adornments are also important because they also give you a buff. So copies of adornments are highly encouraged as well. So the exclusive adornments are better as long as you get copies again because they give you two bonuses so this one gives Rimuru an HP bonus and an attack bonus as well so a lot of buffs have to go into your figures for them to be pretty much amazing and perform amazing so where do you get your adornments let's go to the marble store so i re also made a a what do you call this a guide on the adornments um the ones that are that are appearing here at the bottom is uh, specifically for a specific figure that's the first to buy once you finish those and uh, you don't have enough then you could go with these ones these ones uh these ones um at this point they're random i'm i'm not really recommending them because unless if you if you've gotten everything here then you might as well go here in the supply spring adornment because th this is actually going to be a random thing and for example like uh, camille if you're not using him then definitely you're not going to be using his badge um midori if you're not using midori also and also for this for Norris, if you're not using Norris, then it's going to be a big headache. So if you're not using Camille, Norris, and Midori, that's a 50% chance that you'll be landing in any of these six. So again, it's really up to you on where you want to pull. But I, what I did was to ensure that I got what I wanted. I pulled from this one. So 
again, this is going to be just a, you know, a kind of a um, initial badge. Probably in the future, I'll be getting other badges for for them. But again, for adornments, you really, really have to get copies as well because uh, of the bonuses. The bonuses will be bigger once you get more copies of each badge and it depends really on the badge and the availability okay so we're done with parts badge adornments the recent one that um, we had was um the private figure collection room or the private private figurine uh, pavilion so let's move to some of the ones that I upgraded already. So I started off with uh, with uh, Milim and Rimuru. So if you go through Milim, so so I'm done with with Milim um, here. So attack bonus is at plus ten percent. The next, once you're done with this, you're gonna unlock the second one at the back, and this is going to be your defense bonus. The next is going to be HP bonus. So obviously, you can only farm for certain stages if you have cleared them. Um, if you haven't cleared them in the final counter strike, then you can definitely not farm for 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 their material. So again, bit by bit, you really have to upgrade some of um, the ones that I mentioned, the parts, the badge, the adornment for you to be able to clear the stages for the final counter strike so just in case that uh, if you don't know where the final counter strike is it's going to be in your not the big three it's going to be in your final battle so as you can see here i haven't cleared all i still have to level up some of my figures okay so the last one that we are talking about is going to be your gallery your set collection your set collection will also give you buffs. Um, most of you guys have noted uh, have noted this already. Um, attack and health bonus. This is for every group that you have. Um, for every time you, for example, um, as you can see here, there is a set uh, bonus, HP bonus, damage to attack bonus, damage taken. And uh, those are the things that you will be getting. And also, it really, really depend on what level the figures, uh, the figures you have uh, are at already, or also depending on the figures that you've collected for the sets that are available here. So, anyway, guys, that is it for this. Um, brief discussion on the end game actually it's not not brief anymore it, it took too long so anyway this is a bit comprehensive at least you know what to do in the end game what to prioritize how to prioritize and uh, more or less clear some of the future content and current content that we have in the game so if you're still here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here